Well, there may be an increased demand for parking spaces in downtown in an already crowded parking scene. Tomorrow, there will be an entire garage missing from the city's parking landscape. The garage at 9th and Penn is coming down, and Pam Serrano has more from downtown. Whether you're parking in the Cultural District or heading across the 9th Street Bridge to the stadium, notice a parking deficit downtown. By midnight Friday, demolition on the 9th and Penn garage begins. I come here every day. I make an effort to make sure I know them. For 11 years, George Wellinger has owned 9th and Penn news numbers inside the garage. He gets about a thousand customers daily and knows what they need. The coffee in the morning, we, we had a coffee counter in the back and rolls. The busy garage was built in the late 1950s with its 586 spots. It's show its age after six decades. It looks like it's about to fall down, so it got to go. Dominic Herrera says the garage is convenient while working as an electrician across the street. But since the parking authority announced the garage would be raised, users are looking ahead. Anything to better the area. It was uh, rough coming out of them. I mean, it, everything backed up. All the cars had one way to go, and it would back clear to the roof, and you'd be in there for like an hour trying to get out. The Pittsburgh Parking Authority says the new garage is part of a $25 million capital improvement campaign for five garages over 10 years. Leaseholders say the Parking Authority made the process of moving to a new garage simple. Just swapped out the lease. Plenty of notice, uh, 90 days or more even. George says he hopes to reopen his store inside the new garage, which will be a green park smart structure with 700 spaces. It'll be a while before this garage is done, about two years in all before downtown has these additional parking spaces and then some. On Penn Avenue downtown, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.